Now, another really interesting uh, type of therapy that, that we discussed a bit before we started airing is, is acutonics, which you told mm -hmm. me about. I had never heard of that before. Can you tell me and uh, the listeners a bit about what that actually is and how you use it in your practice? Uh, yeah, uh, it's one of my favorite, another one of my favorite things to do. Maybe even, maybe even more favorite than ozone. Um, so acutonics is a system developed by a woman named Donna Carey. Um, and now she and, and her partner, Alan Franklin, uh, run the Acutonics Institute. So if anyone's interested, it's A-U-C-T-O-N-I-C-S, Acutonics. And you can go to, uh, I believe their website's acutonics.com um, and check it out. And it is an entire system of sound healing that is based upon the principles of Chinese medicine combined with planetary archetypes. So we have a set of tuning forks and chimes and gongs that are based on planetary frequencies. So we have a fork for Mercury, we have a fork for Mars and Venus and the Earth uh, day rotation. We also have one for, for all the planets, okay? as well as some of the asteroids, okay? because there's asteroids influences. And um, the way that the frequencies came about was based on the theory of the music of the spheres. Are you familiar with that? I am not, no. So, Way back when, you know, um, there's this idea that the planets, as they rotate around, now, of course, this was back in, way back in the day when we thought the planets were rotating around us, that, you know, that they actually made a noise, okay? So, like, they made a sound as they went by, okay? Um, and, you know, we couldn't detect that sound because, you know, it was always there, so we couldn't hear it. That was part of the theory. I'm not going to go too much into the history of, of the philosophical debate about this, but fast forward to the 1970s, and I'm really, I'm so sorry to do this, but I'm blanking on the name of the person who actually figured this out. I have to look it up, I'll send it to you later. <laughs> but some, a scientist actually calculated, okay, if we take the, you know, orbital speed of the planets and speed it up to a frequency that we can actually hear, you can actually determine what the frequency sound of each planet is okay so that then becomes the frequency of venus that becomes the frequency of um, jupiter etc it's based on their orbital speeds okay and we've done this for all these things and um in chinese medicine there's a concept of what we call ling um and ling basically has to do with the crystallization of the life's path from the spirit world coming down to the material it also invokes the idea of liminal space. So the space between spaces, the space between consciousness and unconsciousness, the space between physical matter and spiritual matter or your, 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 your physical body and your spirit body. And part of the um, beauty of, of working in this space is that you can help people to make shifts in their perceptions and make shifts in you know their their spiritual path in ways that you know traditional treatments really don't address on top of that we use it to treat the physical symptoms so just like i can use acupuncture needles say oh my shoulder hurts no problem i've got you know tuning forks that i can use up here on those same acupuncture points that are going to help your shoulder or your back or your neck I've got a headache, I've got digestive problems, you know, these physical symptoms, we use the same principles with the forks to actually um, relieve those symptoms. But then there's other parts of the treatment that we'll do that actually help to access a deeper state of consciousness or an altered state of consciousness, if you will, for the individual receiving the treatment. Um, it's a lot like a, a guided meditation in a way. Um, what you experience. So um, everybody's experience is different. Um, some folks, you know, it's just a nice relaxing feeling. Other people feel like they almost fall asleep. Um, other people will, you know, see things like they see beautiful colors or they'll feel like, oh my goodness, I felt like I was like literally orbiting the earth or something like that. And, you know, it's usually these beautiful nice experiences you know and for folks who are you know 
particularly used to meditation or you know folks who used any entheogens um they'll often relate it to some of those entheogenic experiences too um and um i find that those sort of treatments um are so so wonderful for people like they really um help to you know move things along in a different way than i am ever able to do by you know giving you a new bottle of supplements or like even ozonating your blood or you know giving you that vitamin iv like i like all those things too i think they're great but this is working on a little bit of a little different level um so yeah that's that's kind of an intro and, and besides that it's like when i do it um when i'm actually practicing acutonics when i'm doing it it's um it's it's musical right there's sounds there's tones and when i'm actually doing the when i'm selecting those frequencies um i'm using the archetype of those planets of those astrological bodies to channel intention so like let's say i want to help you to you know balance out some inflammation in your body here's a easy one so you want to have you know inflammation in some ways is a good thing right you need to like you know get rid of viruses and bacteria and we need to you know inflammation is part of joint healing but you don't want it to be too fiery you don't want it to be too hot you want to back it off a little bit so we might use something like mars which is you know fiery and hot and associated with inflammation but if i want to cool it off a little bit who is the goddess that could calm mars down the only one who could reason with mars was venus v Yes, you know. Okay, good. You know your Greek myth. Excellent. It's all based, it's all like you know, Greek and Roman myth is what it's based on. So that's part of the fun. It's like you get to relearn all your mythology, which I love. I, I find it. The stories of Greek myth are still so profound, like still to this day, like you can read those, those myths and you're like, wow, you know, like that's still a lesson. So I'm going to combine, you know, Venus and, Mer Venus and Mars. There we go. It's beautiful. Let's say I want to help you, um, improve the structure of your back, your spine, you know, it's, it's, you know, you got a little bit of a little kyphosis, you'll fold it. I want you to be a little more straight, a little more, you know, um, in line. Uh, we do Saturn. Okay. Saturn is about structure. It's about, um, you know, uh, things being in order, stuff like that. So we might use Saturn. Um, so like, as I'm choosing the forks and the combination of the forks in particular, it tells a story. It's like poetry. And as you do it, you know, I'm moving all over the place. It's like, there's a little bit of a, there's almost a little bit of a dance to it too. So it's like music and poetry and dance and an interaction with the client too, because as I do this, like I'm watching, how are they responding? Like I'm reading, you know, their breath. I'm reading, you know, like, you know, seeing how they feel and, you know, reading their energy really, you know, like to see how they're reacting to this. And, you know, that to me is like, it's like this, you know, it's the treatment, but it's also like this little um, solo performance, like an individual performance, you know. You just can't help yourself, can you?